All right, you guys. So there have been updates to the Robert I don't know situation and more texts have come out um, from the victim and it has been confirmed even more with more evidence that this is actually Robert I don't know. So um, recently the victim has come out with the thread we're not going to go over that specific thread because there's a, a phone number that is posted in that thread. And I don't want to post any anybody's phone number. I could get in trouble with YouTube by doing that. But I will play the audio of the thread so you can hear um, you can hear what happened happened from the victim themselves. But before we get into that, there are screenshots that I want to go over with you guys that have been redacted that further um implicate robert i don't know so um one of the things that people focus on in a courtroom proceeding um is that they look at the metadata of uh specific evidence well this right here is very telling in and in and of itself this screenshot is a screenshot of robert i don't know's contact information again it's redacted because i don't want to get in trouble with youtube um but it also shows all of the images that he sent to the victim as well. So this kind of confirms um, or solidifies what the victim is saying. She's actually sh showing screenshots of like the contact information. She also posted a video um, sh scrolling through all of the texts. So there's more texts that we're seeing. Um, and going into these texts that we're seeing um, that have been outlined specifically by the victim, there was a few that stick out, stood out to me. So um, this one, this first one is uh, sent Wednesday, July 25th, 2018 and at 526 PM. And it's Robert sending a picture of his editing. And this is Adobe Premiere. Like I can tell it's Adobe Premiere. This is definitely one of his videos, and he's writing, editing a uh, ting. So uh, it, this confirms that it's actually Robert. Um, then Robert, again, uh, in this text says, uh, the victim says, do it, uh, full send, you won't. So what they're talking about, the context given in this text message is that the victim was daring Robert to come pick them up. Um, and Robert kind of challenged them and took them up on their challenge. So they say that. And then Robert says address. And then um, the victim says, I feel like you actually would. Then they say, uh, then Robert says, you just challenged me. Then they say, oh, man, you're so right. Um, then Robert says, are you fantasizing about it right now if I came? So that kind of just sticks out to me just a little bit. Like, why are you? I, it's not like a like a sexual um, situation that Robert is asking about. But again, it's just like it, it's a little bit odd that you're asking a minor, a, like a 15 or a 16 year old of this thing this specific request and seeing what they specifically think about it so it, it's just interesting that this is this conversation taking place then the person says yeah i'd have i'd have to roll out of bed then probably break my neck on the way downstairs then robert says lmao hot then she says you know it um then robert says Honestly, I had such a stressful day. I could really use some kissing. So it further, uh, it's Robert further um, escalating the situation and requesting kissing from the the minor at the time, which is absolutely insane. This guy is in his twenties at the time and is wanting to kiss a fifteen or a sixteen year old. In it's it's. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's absurd. You know, Robert's going to really, really have a hard time defending himself here. Uh, 
then she says, same here. I came, I came so close to actually screaming at my music supply today. It was lovely. Uh, then, uh, Robert says, oh gosh, well, I imagine you didn't. Then she says, yeah, me too. Uh, she says, yeah, me too. I seem to have a constant rotation of shitty supply teachers. Um, then the text continue um, further down the road. And this this text takes place on Saturday, December, 4, December 1st, 2018. And it's Robert saying, do you know Matthias? Then she says, yuppers. And then um, Robert says, I'm working for his company, currently just editing for one of the channels, but I'll be moving out to L.A. in a few months to do other stuff with him um with them at the actual company uh then um she says no way that's so sick congratulations then he says thanks and then the text continue then it leads into um like th i guess things had fallen apart between uh robert and the victim and they kind of drifted apart. Maybe Robert got what he wanted, so he just kind of left this person hanging. Um, but the victim reached out to him again on Instagram. The victim reached out to him again on Instagram and says, also, since I'm here, and, and asked, like, what was going on. Like, somebody's been contacting her, uh, did you, and she asked if she gave, or if Robert gave her number out because she was getting weird calls and Robert says no. Uh, and then apologizes for getting weird calls. Then Robert says, also, since I'm here, I've wanted to apologize, apologize to you for what went down last year. So he's, he's feeling remorseful all of a sudden and he needs to apologize. What I think he's trying to do is he's trying to cover his tracks and make sure that he's aligned and um, in good standing with the victim so the victim doesn't expose him or doesn't say anything or speak up about anything or go to the cops about anything. Um, so then the text, Robert continues, I genuinely didn't know your age and made the assumption that you are older and that was extremely reckless of me. I also didn't think the fact that uh, didn't think about the fact that you you knowing me as a YouTuber had greater emotional implications than just meeting a stranger. So he knows that there's a power dynamic. He knows that there was a power dynamic at the time of their meeting. Um, and he knows that the power dynamic is an inappropriate uh, dynamic to have uh, between fan and YouTuber. Um and he knows that the age, regardless of the age of the person, whether they're 16 or 17 um, or 15, um, that they that what Robert did was wrong. Um, then just meeting a stranger, which is also extremely stupid of me, especially especially knowing that there are legitimate predators and malicious people out there. The idea anyone being taken advantage of makes me feel sick so i truly hope there was never any vibe like that i would have i never done anything like that uh or like what we did before and i'm absolutely not someone who seeks things out like that especially from people who look up to me um then robert continues so yeah even though the kissing was consensual and platonic i really shouldn't have done it and it's it was my responsibility to end the situation before that happened, and I didn't even think to do so, or I didn't even think to. Um, that's not like me, so I'm sorry if I ever gave you the impression that I'm some kind of creepy guy who tries to do that stuff. I appreciate it so much, Heart. And then the victim says, I appreciate it so much, Heart. Of course, at the time, it was kind of shocking. And my friend who I was told was warning me about the whole thing, but knew, but I knew you weren't that kind of person. After you kind of ghosted, so Robert ghosted them, um, I knew you felt bad and let the whole thing go. I should say sorry, uh, too. I should have let you know 
know my age. I should have let you know my age. And in all honesty, I was 15 at the time. But please know, I never doubted that you weren't a good person. I ever, I never thought. So it seems like she kind of, this person kind of lied about their age. Um, regardless, it's still an inappropriate interaction that's happening between a minor and an adult, um, somebody that's in their 20s. I'm curious to what age they said that they were, um, but they're they're now saying that they were 15 at the time. Um, but please, no, I never doubted that you weren't a good person. I never thought you were some creep talking, taking advantage of me. I still think you were great, uh, super talented dude, and I have zero ill intentions. Uh, then Robert says, yeah, like I shouldn't have assumed your age, and it's pretty stupid of me not to have asked. So you didn't even ask the age. The whole thing definitely made me feel pretty awful after the fact. It definitely made me feel pretty awful after the fact. It definitely was meant to be platonic affection at the time. Um, at, at the time, but I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't have known better. I really should have known better. And I'm sorry if I made your friends think I was some kind of fucking creep either. I The idea of being put in that group since there are actually legitimate predators out there absolutely disgusts me. But yeah, I've never had a situation like that ever happen before or after. So yeah. Anyways, I'm glad you're doing well, but I'm sorry if I put you and you and your friends through any kind of emotional distress at this point uh, or at, at, at any point. That's not who I am at all. So he's trying to he's trying to reassure the victim. Hey, you, I'm not a bad guy. I'm so sorry I did this to you. I'm so sorry the things happened. So he's kind of like mani emotionally manipulating this person. Um, then the, then the person writes the, the important thing is all, all's good now. And the people who said those things are out of my life. Everyone makes mistakes and we've, and clearly we've both learned from that one. I'm glad you're doing well too. I know you weren't that kind of person. Um, then Robert says, awesome. Yeah, definitely I learned from it, but um, I'm so thankful that you understand. I really did feel awful about it. I get it. And um, and hell, or and then the uh, victim says, I get it. And hell, I felt awful too, but all is good. And man, you're, you're doing great, great career wise now. Congrats on moving to LA. Okay, one final thing. Can I ask you a favor? Could you maybe send a pic saying hi to this girl, Sarah? She's in my she's in grade nine and looks up to you of a heck of a lot. I think she's she'd really appreciate it. Then Robert says, Yeah, totally. I'll do it when I when I get it. Um, then the victim says, I appreciate or then Robert says um, yeah, totally. I'll do it when I get home. Anything particular you want me to say? Um, then Robert says, oh, a pic. Yes, yes. And then she says, thank you, S-M-M-M. -M -M. Um, then it's a specific picture of Robert. So this is actually Robert, May 13th on 2019, sending a hi, Sarah, and it's, it's a hi, Sarah. So it's like, it's confirmed this is actually Robert. Like, even more solid evidence has come out that this is actually Robert. Um, how is Squidward? Then the victim says, Lit, thank you, thank you so much. This is this is absolutely insane. Just to see this picture, and it's actually Robert doing the hi Sarah. Uh, it's just what holy crap this is just like Robert you knew what you were doing was clearly wrong you are feeling remorseful you're you're sitting here trying to make justification to towards the victim 
on how this goes. This is absolute insanity. Robert for sure needs to answer for this. You know, nobody else is talking about this. And I'm starting to get frustrated that nobody else is talking about this because this needs to be talked about. Robert needs to address these kind of things. And it seems like he's gone quiet since um, this kind of stuff has come out about him. But let's get to the thread. Um, yeah, let's get through. Let's get through the thread and see what the victim has to say herself. All right, you guys. So another thread or, or the thread has come out and we're going to go over the voice memos that um, the victim has left on Twitter. I'm not going to show you guys the thread because it does show that phone number. Uh, we've already have it. We already have it redacted right here. So you, I already went through the screenshots with you um, because it's it has the redacted information. The, again, the one takeaway is that this this screenshot right here is very telling because it's clearly Robert video editing and it's Robert sending that specific thing to um, the victim. And also this uh, hi Sarah picture is very telling in and of itself too. Those are very solid um, uh, pieces of evidence that are in fact confirming um, Robert, I don't know. But let's go over, let's go through this thread and see what the victim has to say. It's so, here's the messages. Um, I would show you the contact information, but unfortunately there is a selfie of mine there, but I can totally add the phone number. I believe it's now defunct, but here are the messages. Um, this is 2018, I was born in 2002, so I was 15. My birthday's pretty late in the year. I'm just going to be totally verbatim in saying exactly what happened. Um, we met up at Warp Tour, which is what I'm going to show a picture uh, momentarily of us meeting. Um, so I, I've talked about this in the in in my previous video with uh, a few of uh, a few of y'all that have commented on my video, and y'all were talking about Warp Tour. One of you in particular was talking about Warp Tour with me. And how there were there were like predatory people around surrounding that specific that specific tour. Um, I'm gonna look into Warp Tour in and of itself, and we'll do a deep dive into that event or into that specific tour and and uh, outline all of the things that happened within that tour. Um, yeah, it was chill. I was like, oh, I used to be a fan of yours. Um. I was like, okay, let's let's take a selfie, whatever. Um, went about our day, me and my friend, and uh, then later on, we were watching, I don't know, Real Big Fish or something, and uh, I saw him again, so I was like, okay, well, let's go chat and hang, because the other person who I was going to chat and hang with didn't end up pulling through, just totally chill. So I started chatting with him, and um, it escalated quite quickly. My friend went off to meet up with one of our other friends, um, and then he asked his roommate to leave, who he was there with. Um, so it's it's isolating the person. Although the, he didn't ask the person's friend to leave, he asked his own friend to leave. So he wants to be alone with this particular person. And then proceeded to take advantage of me. Okay, so he took advantage of her. Didn't even ask for the age at all. Just took advantage of them. Um, in my honest opinion, if you're questioning somebody's age, um, if you're having to question somebody's age, you probably shouldn't be hanging out with that person. If they look young enough to be a minor, you probably should not be hanging out with that person as a 20 year old or a 30 year old. Um, so it's very inappropriate that, um, Robert is hanging out with, with, um, people that are, that kind of look minor ish I'm, I'm very much side eyeing robert for this for not even asking the age um which was just kissing and you know touching and it was in a crowd um but following that and we do acknowledge the kissing and touching you know although that may have not been super sexual the kissing and the touching in and of itself is very inappropriate was never kiss and touch a minor it's absolutely disgusting and it's crazy that i'm actually outlining this 
you know, clearly all these messages show he was trying to meet up. I was totally down because I was a naive child. And, uh, yeah, it went on for a long time. I remember very vividly, like, talking to him and him asking to hang out while I was, like, walking around a friggin' department store with my mom. So, uh, yeah, it's just really gross and depraved, clearly, because I was 15 and... As you'll see later on, I did say in a message, um, he asked me a little while later, how old are you? I think it was like the next day. And I said 16, um, which I'll go into again later. And because uh, in my stupid child head, I was like, oh, well, 16 is the age of consent. Obviously, that doesn't fucking matter. I'm still a kid. <clears throat> it's still illegal and disgusting. Um, I do agree that it is still illegal. It is disgusting. Whether they're 16 or 15, that's still, no, I'm not really going to blame this person for lying for their age. Um, it should have been solely on the purpose or responsibility of Robert to actually be the adult in the situation and it's stop the person. Matter, still a kid. <clears throat> and, it's still. and actually stop the person from um, being inappropriate with an adult. But Robert didn't do anything about that. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm still a kid. <clears throat> it's still illegal and disgusting. And just... Yeah. Um, yeah, so... You can clearly see... Apologies for the influx of audio differences in the clips that we're listening to. It's not really on my end. It's on the end of the person recording. Just a heads up. You're going to see a difference in audio levels. It's pretty, pretty strange. I'm also going to say I did actually have a tweet up um, of a selfie of him and I this day that we met. Uh, this is the tweet. I've since deleted it because I don't want to be personally associated with this at all. I don't want anybody knowing who I am. So somebody did send this to me in a DM and gave me an update. However, um, because this post has been deleted, I am not going to show you this selfie specifically because the victim is asking that it not be shown and I'm going to respect the victim's wish wishes. Just for privacy reasons. Um, but yeah, and I was a child, so I don't really want that picture of me getting out there. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on here. Sent the message basically, what was this? A few days later. Um, and yeah, then right here I sent a selfie, so I'm going to skip over that. To which he says that. Um, yeah, it's all just pretty messed up. Some pictures of hanging out at the beach. He sends me this photo. Um, a little side note. So when the person says this photo, they're referencing the photo of uh, Robert sending uh, a snippet of the Adobe Premiere screenshot and saying that he's editing. I believe he actually posted this photo on his Instagram shortly after sending it to me. So there's a little fun thing. Um, yeah, and then we met up again at Robert, or sorry, at uh, Crank That Frank show, which is somewhere around here. Um, let's see. Anyway, there's a lot of messages, clearly. Um, clearly, you can see these messages. He was actively pursuing me after knowing my age and actively pursuing hanging out um, alone. Just had to add that there to make it blatantly clear because uh, it makes me sick. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you can clearly tell that this person is just nervous just going and sharing this kind of information out. Um, I do feel for this person. Yeah. It's all just weird. Like, you know, you're 24, I'm 15. Anywho. Um, yeah, so this was... You know, it's just weird. And then, oh, do you know Matthias? Anywho, so there's all that. And then I'll also show 
the Instagram um, deets. Changed his profile picture. It's a little sus. Um, anyway, let's see. Send a message. So she actually takes it to the point of actually showing his Instagram um, profile, and he at the time had 70, 70, 77,000 um, followers on Instagram. So it's act, it's for sure his profile picture, his uh, Instagram handle, and then it it's the video of her actually pulling up the DMs. Okay. Scroll to the top. Hold on. Okay, so here's some weird stuff. So the weird stuff that is that she's showing is the long text where uh, Robert is saying um, that he is remorseful and he didn't know her actual age and stuff. Yeah. And let me just also say, it took me a long time to realize how bad this actually was because I didn't want to accept it and I was a big fan of his and he played it very sweet. Um, but anywho, I asked him to take a selfie for my friend. And, that and this is the Hi Sarah selfie specifically that she's showing. That's that because she was upset and she was a fan of his. So anywho. Let's look at the very beginning, because that's where it gets to the worst stuff. But I'll also just show this. Um... So I feel like she's kind of embarrassed to even go through the text messages. Let's see what other opinions Adrian that she Sarah has. Not, that's a child. Let's see what... Once again? Let's see what other opinions she has. Up. Up. Um, Adrian sent or not. That's a child. Um... I didn't, I didn't see that as clearly as I do now when I was a child because I was a kid and I was trying to rationalize it. So yeah, I just want to make it blatantly clear that that's fucked up and um, full well knowing that I'm 16 is still disgusting because that's a high school girl child. Ugh. So yeah, and then did you tell your friends? So anywho. Let's go to the very beginning. And there we are. Managed to find you. Let's you watch my story right away. So he is messaging her first. Like he's starting the interactions with her in DMs. He's he writes in this specific start of the message. Hi, I, I managed to find you because I wanted my story right away. Just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to say it was awesome spending time with you and had a lot of fun. And uh the the messages start out July 17th, 2018 totally get being into kid stuff i still like you know toys but that doesn't mean i'm gonna approach children who are into the same toys because i'm a grown-ass adult um but yeah i remember him posting some weird stuff about like oh look at how good i look i just went to the gym full well knowing your whole audience is kids um yeah so i apologize for not coming forth sooner i wish i had because i could have stopped you know, a lot more hurt that he's caused, but I was scared and naive and thinking of it as a potential career opportunity. Honestly, I don't blame her that um, she was too scared to come forward. You know, sometimes when we go through situations like this, even as an adult, uh, women do feel timid to even or intimidated to even speak out against what happened with them. Because I want to work in that realm and he has connections so why burn the bridge um it's all just very unfortunate and yeah i hope that this kind of clears everything up i feel like this is a good opportunity to make a broader statement about the sort of parasocial relationships these youtubers with young audiences create and how that can be just dangerous um obviously depending on the creator 
but these kids feel like he's their friend and i kind of felt the same Okay, let's see what the last post uh, says. And I kind of felt the same way. And I just, I think that's really dangerous because you're not gonna, you're not gonna think that your friend is gonna hurt you the way that my quote unquote friend hurt me. So yeah, I, um, I hope this can do some good. And once again, I apologize for taking so long to come forward, and I apologize for staying anonymous. I just don't- I want to wipe my hands of this, and I just want to move on, because it's been hurting me for a long fucking time. Kids feel- I mean, it's great that she's able to get this off her shoulders, and she's able to actually speak her mind, um, and- and say, like, this wrongdoing was done to her. Um, I absolutely feel for her, and I hope that- Robert does provide some answers sooner or later. It's, it's absolutely insane that through these text messages, it's confirmed that it actually is Robert. You know, my my take at the end of the day is, at the very least, Robert was extremely neglectful when it came to interactions with minors on his social media accounts. And as an adult, you should never be like that. As a YouTuber, you should never be like that. You have to have a duty of care when it comes to your interactions on so social media. And it seems like Robert was definitely neglectful um, in this situation. Very uh, neglectful. And then at the wor very worst of this whole entire thing that we've learned is that Robert, I don't know, is definitely predatory. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. What do you guys think about um, this confirmation, e even more solid evidence coming out against Robert? What do you guys think? Do you think there are other people in his fear that could have potentially um, had this same situation happen to them as well? Uh, I, I wonder what's going to happen within the next few weeks or if Robert even responds to this. It kind of sucks that this story is being suppressed, but I'm going to do it in my best. I'm going to put my best effort out there and make sure that you guys stay updated and this story uh, just goes out. I, I'm going to do my due, dil due diligence on my end. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Please let me know what you guys think. Bye.